Now we need a way to connect our locations to our vehicles so that every vehicle has a list of uh, locations where it's available. And uh, of course we need to modify our API to reflect that data. And that is what we are going to be doing in this episode. So in the backend of our application we are going to go to Builder and create a new database or a new table in our database which is going to be called uh, loca uh, vehicles vehicles locations so this is going to be a pivot table or reference point between our vehicles and our location it is just going to consist of two fields which is going to be vehicle id and location id and in our table we are going to be able to see which location belongs to which vehicle so i'm just going to add vehicle ID. This is going to be an integer and it's going to be a primary key, not auto incrementing. That's very important. And this is going to be location ID. And also it's going to be a primary key. So this is what is called a pivot table. So it's just a reference point between two models. Uh, models of locations and uh, vehicles. So I'm just going to save this. We are going to get an error because our table name is too long for some reason, but it will work okay. So if I just press cancel right here, refresh the page, you can see that we have our table. Okay, so now we can go to models and go to vehicle and create a new field so that we can choose in our backend for each vehicle to which location it belongs to. So I'm just going to uh, click here and select a relation field and that field name is going to be locations locations and locations and also we need to display the name of our location so in this relation tab i'm just going to choose a name column which in our case is title okay. so i didn't see that so its title right here. So this is the title in our uh, locations table. Okay, save this. I'm just going to show you. So if we go to uh, the locations table, as you can see, we have a title. So this is the name of our location. Okay, now if we go to vehicles right now and click on any of these, we are going to get an error because we still didn't define uh, the relation between those two models, between locations and vehicles. Now, if this doesn't make any sense to you, I suggest that you check out making uh, websites with the October CMS series and I will link to the video which deals with the relations in the upper right corner in the cards. So just click that if this doesn't make any sense to you. So moving on. Uh, we now need to go to our code editor and we are going to go to the vehicle.php model. So in our API, plugins, watch learn, view rent a car, vehicle.php, this is our model. And now we need to create a relation for that model. So we need to define that relation between locations and uh, vehicles. So uh, I'm just going to add because we are probably going to have more relationships when we add images and so on. So relations. And the first one is going to be belongs to many. So public belongs to many. And now we need to define which relationship belongs to many uh, or which field belongs to many. And that field is locations that we define in the builder and this is going to be an array and first of all we need to define a model so i'm just going to copy this so i i don't have to write anything so we need to define the model of locations and that is watch learn view rent a car models location right so this is it uh, next thing we need to do we need to define a table that this is going to be using table is going to be so i'm just going to go to my uh, backend right here 
and go to builder and right here so this is our table watch learn view rent a car vehicles locations so this is that pivot table that we need to define okay just paste it in here and we also need to define order and order is going to be by title okay so i hope this works let's just save this go to our browser go to vehicles and click on vehicle number two right now and as you can see now this works we don't get an error and we get all of our locations right here so let's say that this one is going to belong to new york and peckham save and close and the vehicle one is going to belong just to Paris. Okay, save and close. Now, <clears throat> if we go to our root endpoint, if we go right here, we don't get anything new. So we are still just getting the ID, title, slug description, and the created dates of our vehicles. But we are not getting anything else. So we will need to justify our routes a little bit or our endpoint so that we get location data in our API. And as you will see, this is so, so easy with uh, Laravel or October, since October is based on Laravel, this is actually Laravel type of code. So to do this, so to get our locations into our vehicle's endpoint, I'm just going to go to routes.php file uh, on our vehicle's route. And right here, instead of vehicle all, uh, we are going to write with, with uh, locations get. And that should be it. So this is it. It's just going to take those locations and put them in our API. Save this. Let's check it out in the browser. So if I refresh this page right now, you can see all of our vehicles, but also the locations in which those vehicles will be available. So as you can see for the vehicle one, we just have Paris and for the vehicle two, we have uh, New York and Peckham and uh, this is actually it for this episode it was a short one finally because i always make episodes at least 20 minutes long uh, but in the next episode i'm going to show you how you can use this data to filter out your vehicles based on the location in which they can be picked up so we are of course going to do that with view and on the front end of our application Remember, everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.